All right, in this video, we are told that, or in this video, we're talking about, the, about a word problem here, <clears throat> where we are supposed to estimate the distance between the recycling center and your school. So let's get some information here. Your school is four miles east and one mile south of your apartment or recycling center where your class is going on a field trip is two miles east and three miles north of your apartment. So what, what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna put this on a coordinate plane and we're gonna call A for apartment is right here at the origin. And then look up here, we see the school is four miles east and one mile south. So we will place the school, uh, let's see, four miles, one, two, three, four, and one mile south, right here. We'll call that S for school. And then we've got that the um, recycling center is two miles east, three miles north. So that's two miles east and three miles north. And we will call that R for the recycling center. And what we're supposed to be finding is how far is it from R to S or what's the length of that segment. And we are going to use the distance formula, which looks like this. Uh, D for distance. Actually, let's just write out distance formula, which is based on Pythagorean theorem, by the way, is D distance equals giant square root bracket x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. So what, when you're evaluating this, you're going to plug in the x coordinates for the two endpoints, the y coordinates for the two endpoints. You're going to subtract one from the other. You're going to, then you're going to square it. Do the same thing over here. You're going to subtract one from the other. And then you're going to square it. You're going to add them together and take the square root. Okay. So let's go through this a little bit of time here. So just to clarify here, I'm going to go ahead and write our coordinates here. These are 2, 3 for the recycling center and 4, negative 1 for the um, school. All right, so we're going to start out, and we're just going to say that RS equals, because that's the, you know, that's the distance we're calculating. So let's see, I want to put in my, my two open brackets here, and I'll plug stuff in. Okay, so let's see. First, we need our X coordinates. So I have two, and then I have... Down here I have four. Then I'll put in our y coordinates. And here we have three. And down here I have negative one. Now notice I have to put that in parentheses there because this is going to end up being three minus negative one will be three plus one in the end. All right? So I'm going to copy down to the next line. I'll say, oops, I wanted black. RS equals, put my big square root bracket. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually do the math here. Two minus four is negative two. And over here, three minus negative one is like three plus one, that's four. Okay. Now we're going down to another line here. RS equals, draw my big square root bracket. So first, Remember here, negative two squared. Um, if you punch this into the calculator wrong, it might tell you negative four. But remember, when you square a number, your answer is always positive. So this is positive four. Plus four squared is 16. All right, next line. We have four plus 16, that's 20. And then finally, we could do some simplifying of the radical here, and I'll talk about that in a separate video. Uh, but this will turn out to be 2 times the square root of 5. So right here is your answer. Okay? And we could turn this into a, uh, a decimal. 
let's see, 2 times square root of 5. I had to get my calculator out. That's about 4.47 miles. A couple things to comment on about this is one, make sure you know what kind of answer you need. If it's asking for a decimal, perhaps rounded to a certain number, then you need to do that and you can just punch in your calculator to find out. But maybe it's asking, asking for an exact value and this is the exact value right here. Um, this is exactly what it is, but uh, square root of five when turned into a decimal is just a number that goes on forever um, with no pattern to the decimal point. So you have to round it off somewhere. And every time you round, you've technically got the wrong answer. It's a little bit off. 4.47 isn't exactly right. It's a little bit off. But in the real world, we have to deal with answers that are a little bit off. So second comment aside from making sure that you're you know what type of answer is right what I've shown you here is pretty solid showing your work so if you wanted to do presentation quality work it should look like this but I'm gonna recommend that when you are doing your own work even for not presentation quality you still do this and here's why students will frequently forget the square root bracket right so they'll do it in the first line but then they won't put it in the second line the third line the fourth line and they'll get down to the end and they'll just put the answer as 20 because they've completely forgotten about the square root so you want to make sure that you're kind of going along until you get really used to it and you're just methodically writing it over and over again so that you don't forget all right